In this one, Hampshire's Joe Weatherly gives a masterclass on how to power hit in cricket like a professional. Let's go. Okay, so for power hitting, I would widen my stance a little bit to create a bigger base, to create that power and stable base. We might be a little bit narrower in red ball cricket. In white ball cricket, we might be a little bit wider, looking to create a really strong base, slight flex in the knees to create that power to then extend through the ball. And that all starts with a really solid base. You're watching the ball and I'm slightly wider in order to hit the ball really hard. For me, the base is the most important thing about power hitting. It's where we get our power from. We're slightly wider, we've got a really solid base, a slight flex in the knees, and that's the most important thing for me to hit the ball big. So for power hitting, I go from a traditional sort of red ball grip and I slightly open the bat face a little bit. So I go from that sort of position to maybe that sort of position to get as much bat face on the ball as possible. I'm looking to hit this ball often in the air, often for six, often to clear the ropes. And I find that slightly opening my hands allows me to extend out and I've got more bat face through the ball like so. If I've got a traditional grip that's maybe slightly more closed, I find I come off the ball and I roll my wrists and that forces the contact to not be quite so good and it might go along the ground. So before the bowl is bowled, I'll open my grip to be in slightly this position and ready to hit through the line of the ball. So what that open grip also allows you to do is it allows you to access the offside. And when bowlers go wide at the death in white ball cricket, you've got that pace on the ball to really slice the ball through point or to go over extra cover. We want to make sure our head is still before the ball is bowled and through impact. The best power hitters have a still head so that they're really in control of the shot. It's not moving up and down, it's not moving side to side. It's really still and it's linked with that control of the shot. So it's nice and still. So with power hitting, we've created that really strong base. Some people like to slightly open up to create that arc to almost access the mid on mid wicket region. Some people almost like to load back to create that leverage when the bowler's bowling a bit fuller to be able to extend through the ball and have that room to play with. So they start with their normal position, almost triggering back, slightly open, clearing this leg so that we can swing through the ball. Whereas in red ball cricket, we might stay a little bit more side on. With power hitting, we're a little bit more open in that real baseball stance, ready to clear the front leg and to swing through the ball. People choose to power hit slightly differently. Some people look to always target the sight screen first and hitting back over the bowler's head. But then if it's slightly dug in, they're looking to go into the hit the sight screen. But if it's short of a length, they can clear that front leg and hit it to deep with wicket or to deep square leg. If you then get room outside the off stump, you can use the pace and hit it either side of point or even over extra cover. Others choose to clear the leg and to really access the leg side, especially when the ball is back for length or just in front of your toes and clearing the leg gives them the leverage to choose what shot selection to hit. But ultimately, it's like a golf swing. Be sure to tap or click the end screen to watch the batting shots video I also filmed with Joe and I cannot wait to see you over there.